Well, as it's now winter, we're starting to get on some of these projects that we don't normally do in the summertime. Now, if you've seen before, you'd have seen in my interior, I had like this Hellboy design going through my center console. Now, obviously you can see over the course of two years, it's got very, very sun bleached. Um, it's coming apart in different bits and places, so it all needs redoing. <laughs> This original design wasn't my idea, it was somebody else on the 350Z forum and I asked his advice and asked if he didn't mind me copying him. So what we're actually going to do today is we're going to strip all this off and then we're going to redo it all. We did start yesterday and we decided on the initial D kind of Japanese racing car design and actually me and my daughters did this yesterday, hopefully you can see some of this design. So we kind of started it off and then we thought actually you guys might actually want to see what's going on so i've decided to video it so each one of these is an individual cartoon strip now what i have done is let me just grab them i have i have chosen my favorite designs from magazines um from comics and stuff like that and basically i've printed out my own individuals on normal a4 paper Okay, and you can see I've got loads of little designs to choose from when I'm going and I'm doing it. Now we use a PVA glue as a base. We put it on there, we get it in the right place and then we PVA over the top of it. Well, you're gonna see the, how we're doing this and um, hey, you might even wanna try yourself. Right, well, let's get along to stripping out the old interior or the old interior section that we're now doing and uh, you can watch the progress. Right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna rip off, my lovely assistant here is gonna help us. We're gonna rip off the old paperwork um, it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. Um, what I'll show you as we go along. Go for it. So as I say, these were all, oh, there you go. These were all originally in the individual pieces. Oh, look, the paint actually come up. <laughs> <laughs> so as I say, this was not a good interior. This was an old piece of interior that I played around with to, uh, see what I liked back when I first got it. And I've changed it about three or four times. So you can see it's got like an old carbon fiber effect on it, but we're gonna smooth that off a little bit. I mean, you've got to consider this is two years old and actually I think the bits that have damaged on it is down to the paint underneath it to be fair. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. We've got all of our designs here. Now we're going to lay them out so we know what we're looking for. We made, instead of doing all of the cartoons that, that we had last time, we made a one of... Oh, of the, the car. car. Yeah, off of our car, which we turned into a cartoon. And we will hopefully put it in the design. You can see what I've done is loads of different designs. So like the colour, and as Eloise was saying a second ago, there is my car designed in like a um, part black and white, part red um, cartoon, which was from the photo shoot, but then you've got all the black and white ones from the manga as well. So what we need to do is, first thing we need to do is line these two sections up because what we do need is we need the cartoon to carry on working onto the new piece. So we're gonna finish off this piece first and then we're gonna cut them and stick it on, okay? so. You want to go, if I just hold it still, normally I do this on my own, but I've got my daughter to help me on this one. So all you're doing is you're making this very, very wet. Okay, it does get all over your hands, but like I said, I quite enjoy that. Okay, let me use the brush. I'm just gonna try to... Now, what we need to do with this one, which is very different from the normal one afterwards, is we're gonna cut that in a second. So let's set this one out. And again, over the top, if you would, Eloise. Now obviously you're being gentle because you don't want to push too hard on it because you push too hard you're going to move the placement which you've just done very very slightly it's okay okay a bit more across here just gently if it keeps moving try the dabbing procedure I'll take over for a sec right and now we're going to do like this scenery background just to finish this side off dab Moving with dabbing, that's because I got it so wet. Let me try. It's 
So this one actually goes around the corner very slightly, which is quite difficult because obviously gives you a lump, but because it's only a little bit, it went around quite nicely. Right, so now the problem we have to try to do now is we need to try to cut down the center of that. So I'm very gently trying to cut with a very sharp knife through the paper to make the join. So you can see I've kind of pushed in this ridge here. So that go quite nicely. So that's the top and the bottom done, which will suit the other section when we do it. We're gonna work all the way down, okay? So this piece doesn't get seen a lot, but it does get seen through the front window. Which kind? So I think we can let Eloise choose what's gonna be the first one and we'll work out where we're gonna go. Right, what we're gonna use, we want something that's gonna be quite large. How about that one there? That one? Yeah. I like that one. So this picture is quite cool. So obviously we're doing it the wrong way up to you, but I think that could look quite cool across there like that. Yeah, because that will be the right side. I'm that dude, but I see you from the top, yeah, real soon Looking down at the haters that I've been through Told them I'll see you later, yeah, big truth I keep a real good pace, built a big house, damn, look at that place Up in my mind, cause that's my space House so big, full of positive things uh, And I can't be shook, cause I ain't no rook, man, I wrote the book Now I teach how to cook them beats, like, look, make it these look good I just want trophies, blacks with a whole gold, if you know me Gotta go record on the wall, look closely Got that record all alone, like, lonely, uh, I'm just sick of waiting cause I feel this frustrating when I always put the hours in But ain't nobody wanna recognize independence, it threatens their cotton in So I chase that bag, trophies are dope but I'd rather have cash Sitting in the bank cause I paid my tax, living my life my way, my path I go Move fast, move fast, anyone who ain't hitting full gas Who that choose that hard work, that wins true facts I'ma go big grind hard, throw a few jabs, big hook next to the dome Knock her straight back down to the floor, anyone in my way smacked I don't take bad thoughts, no I remove that My team got good minds, I can prove that I got these dreams that I've been chasing I got some things I've been upgrading No one can stop me from this craving Chasing Okay, so that's now all on there and we're going to put the final coat So we're actually putting three coats of PVA over top of this Do the first coat, let that dry Obviously then do a second coat Again, let it dry off and then the final third coat and then we'll be ready and we will be reinstalling it into the car doing that bossy shall i do is focus on increasing that profit yeah i'm on like a faucet ready to make another deposit never been complacent since i was eight i steady stay chasing always winning adjacent side by side grind hard in the basement ain't no replacement only one me yes to the free agent because i go with this payments otherwise i don't really have any patience oh. Making that honey, I wanna be something that's more than just money. I wanna teach others and see them becoming a version they never thought. Now they be hunting their goals and their dreams. Yeah, all in their reach. I've actually put it back together, so you can see you've got all of the dials back in. Uh, this actually doesn't work, so I've just got it set there so it does flip. Obviously, where the stereo goes, and you can see the detail, which I'll go into later. But you can see the detail on it. All the initial D cars, uh, loads of other Japanese cars. You can also see there's the MAD 350 in there. You don't get the light on it. And loads of absolutely amazing cars. So you can also see how the cartoons line up across here, which is what I was trying to get at when I was doing that. You've got the same thing that comes over here. You can see the Datsun 240Z lines up quite nicely. And yeah, I've got to say, I'm really impressed with it. I think it's came out better than it did when I did the Hellboy version actually. There you go. So that's what you get to see through the windscreen. Okay, here we go. So you've seen from the outside. So obviously this is what you see inside. There's the MAD 350 like we showed you before. And it goes all the way down. Obviously the sat nav controls down to the stereo. And you can see the image carries on as it goes across. And all sort of, like we said before, all initial D style interior well i'm really happy with the way that came out and um i hope you find this useful right we'll see you in another video very very soon don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you soon bye bye